Oh, hello. It is the second day of Vlogmas. We are on our way right now to the YouTube space. I was thinking of showing you guys out the window, but this is currently the view. Nothing too exciting. It looks pretty gray right here, but we actually got a decent amount of snow last night. You can kind of see it here, um, but I've really been enjoying the view out the window, just looking at all the snow and the blue sky because the skies have been really gray recently, so it's just nice to see the sky and the sun today. So we're gonna be shooting some videos at the YouTube space today, and when we get there, I'll show you around. Um, I have realized now that I have been in this studio, but it was set up as a green room the last time I was in there, so I'm interested to see what it looks like today. And I love the YouTube space. It's such a great space. We record the podcast there. Love it. So we're almost there, so you guys will see it soon. Hello from the YouTube space. So this is the studio that we are in today, and it is actually set up for another um, shoot slash event, but it ended up getting canceled, which is why we get to use the space all day tomorrow instead of just for a part of the day. So I'm really grateful um, for that because the couple extra hours will be super helpful to us. But I'm gonna show you the space because it's actually really cool walking in. Christina and I were like, it feels like we're walking into a teenage bedroom going through these ribbons. This is the studio space, and the last time I was in here, it was set up as a green room, but now it's like this whole, almost like living room set up with a jungle theme. So Christina and I got in our morning workout because we moved all of this furniture in this corner here ourselves, and I was just saying, I wonder when I'm gonna trip over that table, well, as I was pulling out my vlog camera, it happened. Whenever there's like a clear table like this, I just always hit my shins on it. So I'm definitely gonna have bruises on my shins after this shoot. But we it kind of worked out because now we have like this sitting area. There's a suitcase with all the clothing in it. That's Christina's bag. And it's a great space. So the theme of the video is not jungle. Um, we are going to have a backdrop here and then I'm going to be walking here and showing the outfits um, like full length so you can see them. And so it's similar to what I normally do with fashion videos, but we just have more space to do it and we're gonna add in some fun animations into the video as well. I'm really excited to see how all of this turns out. And there's also this cool little vanity area because I only did part of my makeup this morning since I had to wear my coat and I just feel like it messes up my foundation since my coat like comes up to here. So I'm waiting to do my face makeup, but I'm gonna start pulling out clothing from the suitcase and start steaming and then finish off my makeup and then hopefully we'll be ready to go. Plot twist, we're moving to a new studio. So we just put all the furniture back. I'm like kind of out of breath because the couch is especially heavy and also the plants too. This plant right here, weirdly heavier than all the other ones. Here we are in the new studio. So there have been multiple hiccups so far. We love a good hiccup here on Vlogmas. First, I forgot to pack my foundation, which means I had to use concealer instead, which is not working as well because it's cracking on my skin. So, that has been fun to deal with. Um, and then we have been adjusting this for a while. It's really bright because there's just a bunch of lights. But we have this white seamless background because um, I'm gonna be walking here and showing the outfits and then we'll have like animations um, on the white space. And that's why we need this like blank canvas. But it's been a challenge fitting just like the entire shot here and also not getting the sides of the studio in the frame. But I think we have figured it out and look at this. This is the best part. 
Look at that. I'm having way too much fun with this. I can never see myself when I'm shooting, so this feels like Disneyland for me to be able to like see the shot and not have to like go back behind camera. And there's Christina over there. It's very dark when uh, we turn the house lights off, I guess they would be called. The camera's having a really hard time focusing, but that just fits in with all the hiccups that we've been having today. Also, I have no shoes on to keep the um, background slash floor nice and clean. So you're really getting a behind the scenes look today, of all the things that are happening. And then over here, I have steamed all the clothing. Luckily, there was a nice clothing rack to use and an outlet nearby, so it made it super handy for steaming everything. So now, we are going to start shooting because we're behind schedule, but I think we can catch up. So one thing I'm having to do is use gaff tape to cover up any labels on clothing that are showing. So I'm gonna get a pair of scissors and just trim that. And there you have it, the finished and covered label. The reason why I am covering up labels that are showing on the clothing is because I, Wow, this is really distracting because <laughs> on that really big screen, all I see is this hand moving because it's right in front of the camera. So I, I've got to move over here. <laughs> it's really distracting. The reason why I am covering up the labels is because I am making these videos um, for a partner. So I'm getting paid to make these videos and um, I'm talking about the clothing items just like generally and brands can't be shown because this is you know a video that I'm making with a partner so um, you guys will get more information once the videos come out but it's a really exciting project and I feel like I've been able to be super creative with it and try new things and you know like be here at the YouTube space and just do something totally different from what I normally do which just feels really stimulating even with all the hiccups that have happened so far. I feel like we've worked through them. So, you know, that's what I feel like being creative is all about. Like these things present themselves and you just kind of figure out how to move through them. And now I feel like we're in a really good place and we're doing the individual shots of the clothing items because that's part of the format that we're doing. And I will have Christina show you the position that I'm in for all of these shots that you can't see in the videos. Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, oh, I hold my breath during these shots too. So it's like weird position and not breathing. <laughs> I am weirdly very proud of this, but this is a Burberry trench coat that I've had for years and part of the name is here on this flag. And look at my tape work. I taped it in, in the shape of the flag. That is my small victory for the day. We are breaking for lunch and I just gotta show you the elevator because Christina was here yesterday and they literally like wallpapered the elevator sometime overnight and now it's holiday themed. It's also a freight elevator. <laughs> So we're just waiting for the doors to close. We have a lot of room in here. And also this, what is the story behind this? I always wonder every time I come in this elevator, there's just a bunch of coins in the floor in the back. If anybody knows, let me know. That bread is turning into our sandwiches. We are eating lunch in the diner set, and here is my sandwich. I got chicken, artichoke, arugula, and then they put some balsamic on it. Look at this focaccia bread. Can't wait to eat it. Although it does feel like we should be having milkshakes in this setup. <laughs> oh, look who's back, it's Michelle. And she was just in one of my videos. You made your debut. I know. I think I'm coming after your job. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, then should I become a jewelry designer? I mean, you have good ideas. 
I have good <laughs> ideas, but I can't execute on them. So <laughs> there's Watch that. out for my video debut. It's really good. It's I'm for excited. my mom. <laughs> she's gonna. She's watching this video. Michelle, listen to all your tips. No fake smiling. <laughs> I love that you came in with your mom's tips. That was so good. Well, bye. we're just here to say hi. <laughs> Goodbye. That is a wrap on filming today. So now I'm gonna take my makeup off, and I don't have my full skincare routine here, but. Every time I'm finished shooting videos, I always take my makeup off immediately just because I've usually been wearing it for a while and it feels nice to just have a fresh face. So I can't remove all of my makeup, like my eye makeup won't come off because um, I'm not at home with all of my makeup removal things, but I am going to at the very least wash my face makeup off. So I have a simple wipe here and I'm going to take this off. Today was fun because I forgot my foundation. I thought I put it in my makeup bag, but apparently I didn't. I picked it up and put it in another bag because I just have a life of pouches everywhere. And I'm pretty sure I just put it in the wrong pouch. Um, so I didn't have foundation. So I had to use my concealer that I normally don't use all over my face and because of that, it was just kind of cracking everywhere, especially because I have these breakouts and they're kind of like dry patches around there too. Um, just from traveling, my period, the weather change, all of it. It's like acne, but dry, which is never fun. So um, that was fun trying to <laughs> put makeup on that wasn't like my regular makeup that isn't really meant to go all over my face like that so it was quite the challenge and not gonna lie i was pretty frustrated <laughs> with myself but i got through it so tomorrow i am gonna make sure i have my foundation so this is kind of the best i can do right now i'm wearing waterproof mascara so i'm not even gonna try to remove that but get the lipstick this is Armani Maharaja and this lipstick. Whew, this stuff will stain your lips. It already looks like I just was like a little kid and drank a bunch of fruit punch because it's like so pigmented. Okay, this is the <laughs> studio makeup removal routine. Riveting. <laughs> This is what I would genuinely be doing, even if I wasn't filming this. <laughs> I feel like you guys are just seeing, like this Vlogmas is just you guys seeing things that you don't normally see. Me having to deal with Tato's diarrhea and today. Okay, I think we're good. And then I just grabbed a moisturizer from my bathroom. I've been using a couple different moisturizers. This one I tend to just have so I can like throw it in my bag if I'm like going somewhere or like shooting um, just because it works for a lot of different things. It's just like a tried and true one. It's the Make Prem Hydrate Me. So put this on. I feel like this one's especially good for like post makeup because it is just really hydrating. And my skin just feels so dry and parched just from being on airplanes and with the weather change. Oh, I already feel better. And that wasn't even like the full thing. I'm gonna have to go through my skincare routine again when I get home, but oh, look at all this that came off. That was on my face but not anymore. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for today. I think. Just kidding, that's not it because I have spot treatment here because it's probably gonna take me a little while to get home since I'm gonna be going through rush hour. So I have my Tula acne spot treatment. I love this stuff so much. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my little friends that are popping up. They're trying to have a party. And I'm trying to tell them that I'm not a party person. So 
so let's see if they listen. I feel like so much of my life is going out in public with just spot treatment blatantly on my face. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. There we go. Once again, other things that you don't typically see me do, but here we are. We're getting close this Vlogmas 2019. I hope you guys are ready. Okay, so I think that... Oh, they dropped. That is really going to be the end for today. So, um, I have some packing up to do. I'm just going to organize things, get everything situated um, for tomorrow's shoot because we have part two again early in the morning. It was really fun having Michelle here and getting to film with her because we've never done that before. And tomorrow... There will be two more guests making their way in and stopping by, so I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I am looking forward to hopefully getting more sleep than I got last night because I was up all night thinking about today's shoot. So I hope I sleep. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Bye everyone, see you tomorrow.